Well, I came here today because I want to help save the earth for my six-year-old and your six-year-old and everybody's six-year-old. It's a lot of fun. We're enjoying the music and the food's great. It's been a lot of fun. Slow Food is an international grassroots volunteer-led movement in 150 countries and we're really excited to be part of the movement. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Maharal, Richmond's first professional dance, music, and belly dance troupe. I'm Mark Lilly with Farm to Family um, here on Earth Day 2010. We're having a, a really awesome time down here with the kids and people and teaching them about local food, sustainability. Uh, we're handing out free seed packets and uh, we got stuff for sale, produce, all fresh local source within 150 miles of Richmond. working with One Tribe and we're a local company that makes body jewelry out of organic materials and we're here supporting um, the dinner garden by creating these self-watering planters and they they basically just you have some seeds and some soil and you don't need to water it but every couple weeks. Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm the president of Old Dominion Appalachian Trail Club. We're a local a Appalachian Trail Club based here in Richmond. Um, we maintain 19 and a half miles of the Appalachian Trail starting at Rockfish Gap, which is where Interstate 64 crosses the mountains. Hello, this is Christopher Maxwell with the Virginia Solar Energy Association. I'm the executive director at this time. I also built WRIR and the VC Recycling Program, just to give you some perspective why we're here. Well, Richmond's a great place to live, it's got a great climate, but our buildings could be more efficient so that when you put solar panels on it, you get the most use out of it. I'm here because I wanted to come to Earth Day, but also we have Diversity Park that's right across the street and next to the flood wall, and we have a Diversity Park in Bosnia, Herzegovina, and we're sister parks. I'm with Transition Richmond here, Earth Day 2010, and we are a group in Richmond that um, is raising awareness on uh, climate change uh, from peak oil and the energy crisis, and we focus on community issues such as local agriculture. conserve energy. We are a design and solar energy enterprise. We've got two companies, Watershed Architects and Sunflower Solar. Conservancy, and we certainly urge you to go to our website at www.capitalregionland.org. Uh, James River Green Building Council is the Central Virginia chapter of the USGBC. So we do education and advocacy here in the Richmond area and all the way up to Charlottesville. Hello, we're Greenstone Solutions, an energy efficiency expert. Do residential home energy audits where you evaluate your home and find out where it's losing energy? how much it's losing, and let you know how you can get it back. Earth Day, every day. I'll second 
like that. Yo, Earth Day 2010, man. I'm here with Urban Grid Solar, and uh, we are trying to educate the community on solar thermal for hot water and solar photovoltaics for electric. Uh, this is our third year in a row for the Earth Day Festival. Higher than I've ever been in my whole life. Wider than the sun on the earth and sky. Higher than I've ever been in my whole life. has been around for 20 years. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary. We are an umbrella organization and incubator for um, small, smaller groups around the city who work with City Parks and Rec. Um, we've got about 50 partner groups ranging from Friends of um, Bryan Park, Friends of Forest Hill Park, um, Dog Parks, um, Belle Isle Ropes Course. Glad to be here being a part of Earth Day and this is a great thing that uh, the city of Richmond is putting on and hopefully we can be a part of it again. If you want to go, take good care, but we got a lot of nice things to wear. Just remember this. Hi, my name is Marn and I'm with Care Alternatives. We are here at this festival and we want you to come by Earth Day Festival. We are looking for volunteers and maybe you can be one of the volunteers. Well, this is an insect collection um, that shows as many of the good and bad insects that you can have in your garden. Um, all the information that you would need is on here. Good insects, bad insects, how to keep them in if you like them, and if you don't like them, how to get rid of them. Um, insects are very important for your garden. They got a solar power car over there running. Do they really? Yeah. Nice. What do you think about Earth Ball, Paul? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw it at uh, Iris Festival. Oh, right. A couple of them, you were walking with it, like, looked like Atlas. <laughs> <laughs>